Hi guys, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel, Technical Talks with Naresh. So today I'm going to start with one simple topic. So in my previous videos, I got a few comments by some users that their ESS jobs are not getting completed. Okay, they want to know how to check the default time period which is set to run that respect to ESS job. Means suppose if you are submitting any type of an ESS job, so it will just run for five minutes minutes 20 minutes whatever the set time is over there okay if in that stipulated time if it is not completed then what will happen then that respective job will error out so they want to know what is the time period for this one okay so in this video i'm just going to tell you that only so before starting i just want to say you that if you are new on my channel and you want to learn the oracle fusion so there is an one fusion playlist in my channel so you can go through all of that video in the same sequence which I has given. So it will help you to learn the fusion. If you have any question, any doubt, you can just write me on my email ID given into the description of this video or you can just comment on any of my video. We will get back to you. Okay, so continue to the topic that is execution time limit for BIP reports. So this is the home screen of my Oracle Fusion instance. So first of all, we have to check it for the BI publisher reports. Okay, so for that, we have to go to the reports and analytics. So for that, I'm just clicking here, this three lines icon. Then after I can just scroll down, here is the option tools. So I'm just expanding this one and here is in reports and analytics. So I'm just clicking on this reports and analytics. So then I'm just clicking on the browse catalog button. So you can see I'm on this page, okay. Now what we have to do, we have to check the settings basically. Okay, so now how we can check that? So here is an just tab icon. So there is an administration. So this is my latest version, latest update. So that's why it is having here. But previously we are having this button here only. Okay, now it was moved here. So you can find there as well or you can just find here. So click on this icon and then after administration. Now you can see my administration tab is open. So here lot of activities are there but here is a bi publisher so we have to check for the bi publisher so i'm just clicking here so it's bi publisher so i just come on this page so here we are having different types of an activity like as in data source then securities then deliveries so these deliveries i had already explained in my bursting videos okay so you can set the deliveries and how you can do this fun so this is the runtime configuration so basically what we are looking we are looking for the execution time so execution time is nothing but the runtime okay so for that we have to check this properties so you can see this window will come in front of me so now properties so these are all the respective properties which we can set how to run that report and how it will work so these are the server values okay you can see this and these are the default values similar way so we can just set it out the font mapping then after currencies as well okay so now i'm just explaining the properties here okay but which property we need we need to check that for how much interval of time that respective report will run okay so for that there is an, a one field over here that is nothing but the some sql timeout or something so let's check that scroll down sql report runtime like this that field was yeah so here is the field that is an sql query timeout okay so we are having here the 600 seconds okay so 600 seconds means around it is a 10 minutes okay 60 second per minute so means it is in a 10 minutes around so if that respect to report is not completed into the 10 minutes so it will just exit that or throw some message timeout message okay so this is the default value so when you are just running it and default and when you are just running onto the server the value is in 1800 so you can see that there are different properties as well there is a maximum data size limit so you can just fetch out around the 500 mb data then maximum sample data size limit that is on 1 mb so these type of and all the respective limits are there so i just explain one of you so if you are going to this navigation so there are lot of properties are there just you can just explore that and you can just use it whenever it is needed okay so these are all the respective property so in this video i just explain you the small concept of how to check this respective property so in my previous video i had just built a lot of the bip reports okay but that bip reports that was developed on the respective old version but the version is upgraded 
so as you know that every quarter oracle is releasing the new version so some modification ui or the functionality they are giving okay so now i am on the latest version here so here previously when we are just creating the data models so that time we are having some new tab over there so now here it is in a create so it is changed they had modified the naming convention and after there is an a report okay so you can see here the report and here is a data model so if you want to create the data model you can just go go from here then here is an analysis previously the analysis was directly here now it is come under this create and then after this analysis okay so it was deferred based upon the version so there is a no huge changes that oracle had made in the ui or in the functionality okay so why i'm just saying that because i'm just getting few questions on my videos that for the navigation so if you are not getting that same exact navigation due to the version got upgraded okay so in new version you can find all the properties over here so okay so if you have the access to that respective role so all the property should come over here so you just have to navigate it properly okay if you still face any type of an issue you can write into the comment section okay so that's it for today so before closing just i have to say that please like share subscribe my channel thank you for watching thank you